Okay, folks, I've got a project here. It's a simple little machining project. There's no tolerances to it. But let me give you a little background. Uh, you know, obviously, we work on the race cars. And there's lots of different ways to do things as far as mending aluminum and sheet metal. My friend, Tug Truett, that does a lot of our bodies and we race out of his shop and we're kind of in cohorts on the race cars and stuff like that. Uh, he builds a lot of bodies for local dirt track cars. And one of the things you kind of want to do is roll edges over. And I know if you've watched any metal working videos, you'll see a lot of bead rollers. Well, what he does is he had a tool made out of a piece of delvin that's basically took a hacksaw blade and they just bend it like this. To, to bend it and then just take a hammer and fold the lips over. Poor man's bead roller. So uh, we was talking at the shop the other night and the darling is starting to get wore out. So he asked, said, we, I said, let me just make one out of aluminum. Uh, I got plenty of pieces of aluminum over here at the shop. So I, I just basically cut out a piece of aluminum, put it on the mill, kind of put a handle to it put some different slit and saw slots in it for him to use and uh, that way he's got a, a, a solid a, 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 what he like you know basically a corner rolling tool hand job so I hope you enjoyed today's video it's all mill work and saw work so no further ado let's get the let's get to cutting this aluminum up slanging it around for you friend Harold Waters used to always say all projects begin on the bandsaw well, he must have, you know, he bought a different saw on us now. But I have a little project today that is a tool. It's for my good friend, the cook. Now, a lot of you folks, I don't know what other videos of people you watch, but, uh, a lot of people who bend and make these replica type aluminum bodies and stuff, they have a lot of tools uh, for sheet metal. And one of them is a bead roller that a lot of times or, or to make little edges, like the insides of the wheel wells or whatnot. But what this is going to be is a knitting tool that you can bend sheet metal up with out of aluminum. Now he's already got a piece of delvin he's cut and made up, I'm going to say what. And he made the comment to me that he would like a piece of aluminum. So what we're going to do is today, I'm going to take a block of aluminum, that's why I'm sawing right now, is to make, up, to make this up to cut. So this is the first step. I won't bore you with the whole solid. We'll end up putting it on the mill and screwing it up more. Another clip of the sawing in real time. And that's just to show you that this is a pretty thick piece of aluminum. This probably uh, just about a half. It's just a little over a half inch thick. So this is go to show you it just takes time to saw it. And I just wanted to show you that My little saw works really good on stuff like this. It's just time consuming. And, uh, but it's not a do-all, and I'll be the first to tell you. It's not a do-all or a moist frame. And it's not perfect. But for my little home shop, it, it's been a lifesaver for stuff like this. And it's really been a handy little tool. Especially for flat stuff like this. So I'm not going to bore you no more. One thing I am going to remind you of is, is this blade's not optimized for aluminum. One. Two, this is not a really, really good blade. This is a $20 blade from Amazon 
that is important. I have a really good blade over that I bought. Uh, custom blade. It's totally really good. So we're going to see how this, you know, I'm just trying to get all I can out of this cheap blade. And it still works really well. It's probably too fine for aluminum. Um, I would tell you that. So, again, yeah, we're not a professional shop. And I always like to show this saw working too. So people who want to build one will see real world uses of saw. Now this is just a little 12 inch, it's not a, a particularly rigid saw, but it does a really decent job. So, all that buried in mind, I won't just, you know, get it out there, let folks have a look, see. So we can, they can see how this thing works. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take this first cut and see what they look like. Get the dial. Make sure I clean it up. There's no specific width for this thing. So it doesn't really matter. I just want it true on each end. So. We're just whacking it up, you know, we're just truing it up, getting both sides somewhat parallel, all of it parallel, I'll begin with. You know, there's not a lot of, you know, we're just taking a, a, a regular old three-quarter, two-fluid end mill. We're just knocking these corners off. This will get us a nice true service and we'll flip the sides off and do that. We'll do the end, we'll true everything up first. This is really a simple deal. Hey, off camera I went ahead and milled two slots in it. Because this will be held like this. It'll either be bending this way or that way. So that way and then I tuck a belt sander and kind of rounded these edges to make a handle. Okay, now we're going to put the long slot in it. We want it about a quarter inch deep. It's in the center. So what I'm doing, I'm doing this by hand. Flitting saw at about 70 RPM. This is aluminum. It's fairly soft. But what he was using was a piece of derlin, and it is like a band saw of all things, or hack saw and cut it. We're a quarter inch deep. All right, now I'm going to hit a barber snippy. Be careful, these orders are grabbing. We're going to try to feed this to a quarter inch. We're feeding a lot of feed. We we'll put a little bit of pork on the table there to help. Feed this to a, I'm just feeding it the whole quarter, see how it turns out. That's it. That, what it's doing is actually slipping on the armor just a bit. Which is not a bad thing. We might have to turn the speed up just a hair bit. Let's try that. See if that helps. See if it's all still good and even. I'm 
more. It's actually a little bit off center. It's probably going to give you two different measurements. The arc is there. Maybe I could have took a smaller cut and took it two cuts. Said a little bit. I'm going to take a cleanup pass to go through it. That way, you, that way, I actually didn't do that on purpose, but it may come in handy because you can bend different length lips if you want to. This has got to fit in there like this fairly good. It's a little loose, but I think that'll be good. That'll, uh, it's a little bit bigger blade than I thought it was, but that's going to work pretty good. I think that's what he said he wanted to be about a quarter deep. I'll check my phone here in just a second. Now I'm going to cut the top slots. I'm going to make two of on them, one on each side. So one of these, both of them are going to be a quarter inch deep. The one's going to be a quarter inch wide, and the other's going to be a half.
I know it. And it's actually going to be three on this side to show it work. There we go. Okay, this is the last pass of this. Going in. Uh, he didn't tell me to do this, but I decided to make a little different for him. Give him some options. And, uh, So what we, one of the things, I'll tell you one thing, he slipped his all to bind up in a little slick minute here. We're trying to, I, I decided to take this to 50,000 pass and see if it'd be better. I believe it's easier to do. So you don't seem to grab as bad, but you can still overfeed it. I'm going to go through this a couple of uh, spring passes just clean her out good. So I'll get this one cleaned out the way I want it. I believe that there is going to do it right there. I believe we got us a tool made there for the... So, we're doing a little bit more. I got three different sets here. He usually uses a half, but I got a quarter. And a, uh, what we do is he just put that in a sheet metal and you just bend it. What this does is make it bend up and give you like that. And that way you can bend it over for a lip. But see, you can do the smaller one and get a little different lip. So that just gives you some different bite options to work with. So there's that. Then you can bend it on this side the same way, just kind of bend her over, and that way you got it both directions. So that's, a, that's all this is, is this something stick piece of sheet metal and bend it. Then they just take a hammer or something and tap it over. So, Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. This is Copyright Production, James Dedman, Saw Logs, Plastic Hubs, your entertainment, enjoyment, and some slight education here on YouTube. Uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed today's product production. Um, we just a little old simple job I done for a friend that really helps me out. Uh, a lot of the work I do is actually for friends. Uh, there is a little every once in a while I do a paid job, but it's kind of rare and, and few and far between. With all that being said, uh, folks, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm glad you stopped by. If you're a subscriber, please comment. Please like the video and please tell your friends. If you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing to the channel. It don't cost you nothing. And it sure doesn't cause you any head of headache. And you're a member of my family. And I really would appreciate it. And uh, you, like I say, you always got something to say. And if you, if you come by and just want to watch now and then, that's cool. But I would urge you to subscribe to somebody. There's a lots of good creators out here on YouTube. And I'm going to pitch other people. If you don't like me, there's surely somebody you'll want to subscribe to and follow. Because that's what gets these people, gets us views. That's what also makes our channels grow, bumps us all up in the algorithms. Uh, quite honestly, it's just one of them things that that's why you, everybody asks us for them. So that's the reason why. So if you don't if you don't want to be a member of my family, subscribe to my content, stop by another creator in this genre and give him some love then. I would appreciate it. I'd appreciate it because we all need some subscribers. I don't care if you got be uh, I don't care if you got 150, 200,000, you only got two. You need subscribers. So, how about get spreading the love out with someone if it's not me? I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, we'll see you next week on another machining video. So, or next Wednesday on a slot. So, whichever one you choose to watch, how about stopping on by? Hey, we will see you in that next video. And you all have a wonderful and great day.